hi guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be part two of the good and the beautiful unboxing so i did receive the math curriculum today the math course book which is this big giant book and it has everything that you need it has all the information kind of like the overviews it has like the lessons you're supposed to do it has word problems as you can see there so this is what it looks like it's very big it has a lot of lessons let me see if i can see here it has hundred and twenty lessons I believe a hundred and twenty lessons so that's a lot so then this mental math map mysteries I guess like you kind of like work through the book and then it'll tell you like when to use this and then at the end it has like stickers so this seems fun it has stickers and you create like a map I think that's the goal about this it has like stories then you kind of stick all the stickers as you're going through the lessons, I believe. So this is very interesting. Like I showed yesterday, this is my answer key so I can kind of see the answers, maybe review. Maybe there's some things I have forgotten how to do. And I'm able to kind of like see the answers to send her back to check her work if she gets something wrong. So yeah. Um, Something I would say was that today we did begin our first lesson for language arts and literature. So I'm able to kind of give a quick overview, quick like review on what I thought about like the first lesson, my first impression. So I did really like it. I found it pretty simple, pretty easy to work with. My daughter was able to complete it probably like in 40 minutes. But I did kind of have to redirect her because she would get distracted. She is new to homeschooling, so that's perfectly normal. And I, I feel like if you feel that that might be an issue, just make sure you're kind of like reminding them like, hey, like, you know, you need to do your work. I mean, I was used to that um, working at a school, working with children. Like I was used to kind of like having to like constantly remind them like, hey, like, you know, you need to be doing your work. like. You know, and helping kids and solving problems and stuff like that. It's something that I'm used to, so it's not really a problem for me. But just, you do have to kind of stay on on it. And I did like this. Like, everything was pretty simple. This is, like, for parents to read, a teacher. Um, This is for them to read. Then they go over here and work on these problems. You know, like, I like this little area here. Like, it did include, like, God in the story. Like, they talked about Christ, and that was, like, the answer. Then I like that, you know, like, it's pretty simple. Like, very easy. The le lesson is very short. If a child stays focused, they're able to complete it, like, pretty quickly. Because the lessons are not long. Like, it was just, like, the first two pages, this page. And then here, it does send them to, the, to their reading workshop. Um, I mean, spelling and writing workshop book. And all they have to do is like go to lesson one and work on the this. So for lesson one, the only thing for lesson one was working on this page and then reading this, underlining a few things, and that was it. And then after that, like the last thing that they have to do is read for 20 minutes and answer these two questions. And I was just trying to make it fun for her. So I would tell her like, there's little like check boxes. And I'll just be like, when you finish a section, just check it. And like, she'll be like excited to like, just check it off. So I did like that. Like you see, like for lesson two, it's saying something like, and it says the Holy Spirit, like, Christ is incorporated in all of this, which I really, really love. Um, something else that she was able to use today was, where did I put it? How did I use that?
I don't know how I love it, but okay. Let me put these things together. Oh, found it. Sorry. This was handwriting. And all I had her do, since it's a very small book, I didn't want to like overwhelm her, so I just had her do one page. This is the first time that she's learning cursive, which I'm not sure if at regular school, she did used to go to a private school. I'm not sure if at regular schools, like they're teaching them handwriting anymore or if it's just something that's not taught, but she, this is like her first time learning it and she's a fourth grader. So I found that a little bit crazy, but thankfully like she's going to be able to know this now. Um. That's one of my goals to just see kind of like how behind she may have fallen um, at the school that she was going to and trying to help her catch up so that when she does go back to regular school, she won't be behind. Something else that I wanted to talk about was the botany class. I did go through it. I was going to begin this, but then I started to see like, okay, like, I'm gonna read this before doing a lesson because it does tell you like the supplies that are needed. It's nothing crazy stuff that you could probably find at home or easily buy. Like sip blocks, water, like green bean seeds, um, stuff like that. But something that I did love was that it comes with a lot of these vocabulary words that you cut out and it's just like to put it on your science wall. So my plan is to like cut these out neatly and then laminate them. I'm very crafty so I do have like a laminating machine. I have like a lot of those things already. So um, that's my plan and then I like, kind of like making her like a little science wall section for her things. So yeah, this looks very fun. It looks like it's going to be a very hands-on class. Like very like um inclusive not only for her but for me as well and i'm excited for that like these are things that i i really haven't learned about and i'm already like older you know and i feel like it's gonna be like a fun learning experience for me as well and yeah i just really like i think so far i mean i haven't gotten too far along to know like if i'm gonna love this curriculum or not but so far, I believe it's doable, it's simple, it's, um, she was able to do most of it on her own. When she would get stuck and she needed help, like, I would go and help her. Um, it's nothing out of the ordinary, though, so I feel like, I like it so far, and I hope that I can continue to work with it. Um, one of the things that I wanted to show was... One of my requirements in my state is to take attendance. So I'm just blocking this because her name is there. Um, but basically like all of the W's are weekends, the H are holidays, and I already went in to fill that up. Let me hold it this hand better. And I just highlighted like with pink, like to know how many like how many days each month has so like the months are up here so then i would do like for 30 it was pink for 31 it was blue and then like for february which is 28 days i just put like the highlighter yellow and um in this day i believe it's 180 days that children have to be in school so i just planned accordingly like i already filled up my weekends my holidays that way I know how many days is it that she has to be in school, like days that she's going to take field trips, like that we're going to go out like to field trips, like when I want her to have her Christmas break, for example, like I'm able to choose all of that on my own now. And I just, um, I just really like this template. I purchased this on Etsy. I know like I could have done it, but... I, I didn't have time for that. I just found it easier for me to purchase it already made and just like work from there.
So this is pretty much like one of the most important requirements for my state to just keep her attendance and I am planning to keep all of her work in files that way like you know I can show what she's been doing like that she's been like learning she's been going to school um and yeah pretty much like you can just plan your own curriculum what's working for your child that's one of the like pros about homeschooling like for instance i bought this book on amazon a while back before i even was gonna homeschool her and it's like for grade four and it just has like a lot of spelling words, like spelling activities, and I'll just have her do like extra things like, like, you know, like look up the words on the dictionary, like write them a certain amount of times, like things like that. That way it can help her improve with spelling because that's one of the things that I did notice um, the school where she was going at, like a lot of the kids, I also worked there, so a lot of the kids were struggling like a lot with knowing how to read and knowing how to spell and that was one of my worries like that she's been kind of falling behind and I just want to try to push her to improve as much as she can in the time that she's that I am able to be with her like teaching her so yeah that's pretty much the video that I wanted to film for right now to kind of give you guys an update on what I thought about the program so far and so far I like it um I am waiting for the master books to send the history course. It should be arriving soon and if so I will be trying to film a video on that and maybe like I can instead of just unboxing I'm able to kind of give like my first impression on like the first lesson and things like that. So yeah like also like other things that I'm doing with her is like going to I take her to the park to go walk like you know like they do have to have like physical education they do have to have like um like you know like trying to put in extracurricular activities and things like that um you know i kind of was like pushed into homeschooling it wasn't something that i planned to do for this year like it was just like a sudden decision based off of things that happened that i just kind of was like you know what like we're gonna homeschool but i do feel like out of every situation you just kind of have to make the best out of everything so if you're in that position whether you want to do it willingly or it's just something that you just feel like is for the best right now i just invite you to just try to be positive and like try to make the best out of it so thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video or if it was helpful oh, i'm sorry if it was helpful in any way please um like share subscribe to my channel to support and yeah thank you so much